first seed for the foundation of the Sister Disciples of the Divine Master in the United States was planted with the arrival of Sister Mary Ignazia Biello from Italy. She departed with two daughters of St. Paul, and after 14 days on the ship, the missionaries arrived in New York on June 28, 1932, and stayed with the Society of St. Paul, who had been founded earlier in the country. Together with the members of the Pauline family, Sister Mary Ignacia propagated the Word of God from house to house. Throughout those challenging years, Sister Mary Ignacia had significant correspondence with Mother Mary Scholastica Rivata, who encouraged her. She wrote, It is appropriate to repeat that passage from Holy Scripture. They were hungry and asked for bread, and there was no one to break it for them. I believe that it must be us with our religious and pastoral vocation that we must break the bread of the Word of God of the Gospel to all these poor souls. Therefore, give great importance to our vocation and pray to the Divine Master to grant us religious and pastoral virtues and graces. Sister Mary Ignacia would later be joined by Sister Mary Veronica Crevani and Sister Mary Elaria Vaya in 1947. In the following year, other sisters would arrive and begin their caring service at the growing community of the Society of St. Paul in Staten Island, New York and Canfield, Ohio. In April 1949, the young community was visited by the Superior General, Mother Mary Lucia Ricci, who arrived at Staten Island with Sister Mary Cruces D'Amico. Shortly after, the founder, Father James Alberione, came to visit the sisters and guided their retreat as well. It was also in 1949 that Sister Mary Gioviana Fratelli arrived with three other sisters. She remembers. La casa di New York era sotto uh, remodeling, perché era una family house. E non c'era posto, e allora le suore vivevano nella canonica di San Mary Picchi, in Staten Island dove il parroco era Father Patrick della Società San Paolo. That same year, with the help of Father Anselm Viano from the Society of St. Paul, the sisters managed to purchase a property on Sunset Avenue in Staten Island, which was blessed on January 24, 1950. With the arrival of Sister Mary Augusta Aulorio, the foundations would then expand to the West Coast, namely to California. One of the pioneer sisters to arrive there was Sister Mary Natalie Donola. Lei è venuta qui per l'arte sacra, no? Sì, cominciare l'arte sacra perché qui non c'era niente ancora, no? E eh, allora madre maestra mi dice vai in distanti in New York e prepari tutti i modelli e poi quelli che ti deve che hai bisogno e e cominciare e cominciate lì e allora è cominciato ma proprio da Nazareth <laughs> The local Bishop of Fresno welcomed the sisters in the soon to be established Ryan Preparatory Seminary and by Christmas of 1950 the sisters had begun their Eucharistic adoration and service at the seminary The sisters would proceed to build their own house in Fresno on land donated by Mrs. Julia Lucardo which continues to be a space of beauty and prayer for the sisters in their latter years. Throughout the years, communities were established in different cities. While some of these have since been closed, we now continue our presence in Boston, Los Angeles and Fresno, with diverse expressions of our Eucharistic, priestly and liturgical ministry. In the Archdiocese of Boston, the sisters continue service in collaboration with lay people and clergy at the Braintree Pastoral Centre and at the Archdiocesan Clergy Home Regina Clary, a residence for elderly and infirm priests. In both Los Angeles and Fresno, our convents and chapels are always open to the many friends of the Divine Master, the Holy Family Institute, adorers and those who share in our mission of giving Jesus Master to the world. Throughout the years, the United States has become home to many sister disciples from different countries. They continue to dedicate their lives as women of the gospel who seek to spread a message of hope to all and to the multicultural society of the United States.